Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let me introduce ourselves. My name is Shandor Kellerman. I was born and raised in a Christian family in an almost completely Hungarian town in Seclerland, Transylvania, Romania. We attended church regularly, where I could see the gospel at work in the life of exemplary Christians. When I was eight years old, I had an experience with the Lord when he forgave my sins and a new interest was kindled in me towards the Lord and his word. But later, because of my sin and worldly influence, this died down. When I was 14, the Lord granted me repentance from my waywardness, and since then I am the Lord Jesus' disciple. I became very active in all kinds of church ministry, where I felt the joy of serving him and sharing the gospel. I always wanted to be a zealous servant of the Lord, but I never wanted to become a pastor, but after a time I couldn't resist his calling. The Lord led me to EMF Bible School first, and then to London Theological Seminary, now London Seminary, to study. Both were immense blessings and very significant towards my development. In 2004, I was called to the Turgumuresh Hungarian Baptist Church. In 2005, I was ordained to be a pastor and we got married with Napsugar. I'm Napsugar Kelemen. Napsugar means sunshine in Hungarian. I was born into a Christian family as the fifth child. My birth was marked by the sad news of my brother being diagnosed with muscular dystrophy. But my parents felt the Lord's love shining down on them. As a daughter of a heavily persecuted pastor by the communist regime, and with my brother being ill, I realized very early that life is so fragile. I knew that one day I will have to die, and that terrified me, because I was aware of my sinfulness. I never doubted the existence of God, as I witnessed many day-to-day -day answers to prayer in my family. I am so thankful to the Lord Jesus Christ that he opened my heart and gave me faith to accept grace. I experienced forgiveness and that changed my life forever. I wanted to serve the Lord as a missionary and the Lord called me to start with children's work at the age of 16. He brought Chandler into my life and we got married in 2005. Since then, we have been serving in Turgumuras Church and a few more in the surrounding area. I still work with children and help my husband in youth work and with whatever I can. The Lord blessed us with four children. Our eldest daughter's baptism was in 2021. We pray that by grace all of them would choose to walk with the Lord. Beside the Turgumuras Church, there are three small churches. We look after. We both are involved in children and youth ministry and work among the disabled, organizing different events locally and regionally like camps and conferences. I'm also involved in radio ministry preaching every six weeks and on Christian holidays in a secular radio which is broadcasted all over secular land. If you would like to pray for us, here are a few relevant prayer points. In our convention, the constitution is such that we have to elect leaders every four years. We need leaders after God's heart. This is especially crucial in time for us. May the Lord's will be done for the good of his cause in our church. A student from a non-Christian background is preparing for baptism and her parents are not happy about it. There are at least three more potentially, but we need to pray that the Lord would take away the obstacles. We have much joy in the children's club, which is great means of outreach, and also in youth work, where we see much progress in discipleship among university students and local teenagers. Thank you for your prayerful interest. May the Lord bless you all.